And we'll start by rolling the shoulders. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And the whole way through the shoulders here. Nice big circles. Feeling a whole joint move. And we're going to go the opposite way. Nice slow circles, feeling the whole moving through the joint. Three, two, one. Drop the head, big circle all the way. When you get to the front, change direction, bring it back all the way up to it. Again, try and move the whole way through those muscles. Three, two, uh, one. Okay, hands on hips, feet shoulder apart. We're going to circle with the hips, all the way to front, and bring it all the way back around. So nice big circles. Three, two, and one. Okay, bring the knees together, bend the knees slightly, keeping our back straight, hands on the knees, little circles, knees, and all the way back around. All the way, all the way. Three, two, and one. Okay. Last one here, out onto the toe. The circle all the way back around. I'm going to give it that move the whole way through the ankle. Three, two, one, out onto the opposite side. And circle around again. Three, two, one. Okay. We are going to take one hand, bring it to the outside, the opposite side of the head, and we're just going to put the other hand behind the back, and we're just going to slowly bring our head across into a little stretch, hold it there, and we're going to push into that hand. So it'll be 30% pressure, so nothing crazy. Should feel a stretch on the top of the shoulder, and maybe up into the neck a little bit. Three, two, one, let go. Going again in. Again, just a little bit of pressure. Just pushing against out your head a little bit. Three, two, one, let go. And we're going to do once more. Three, two, one, let go. Check it out. Off to the side. So, Reaching across the other side of the head, pull into a little bit of a stress position, arm behind the back, and you're going to push against it. Three, two, one, let go. Again, push against it. Three, two, one, let go. And once more, push against. Three, two, one, let go. Down, shake it out. Okay, now bring your hand to your forehead. Don't really matter what you do, don't Or you can put both hands to your forehead. And we're actually just going to push into your hand again. 
and then activate those muscles. Three, two, one, let go. Push again. Three, two, one, let go. That one's more. Three, two, one, let go. Okay, we're gonna bring your hands behind the head here. I kind of like to interlock them put them together. And we're going to push back. Again, for three, two, one, let go. Go again, three, two, one, let go. Once more, three, two, one, and let go, shake it out. Okay, we're going to bring our arms up to shoulder height here. And what we're going to do is you're going to turn one palm to the ceiling, so thumb facing behind you. And we're going to bring them both that way actually. So both palms to the ceiling, we're going to twist the whole way through the shoulder, facing the opposite way. Just going as far as you can each side of this, trying to keep them at shoulder height and just moving through as much as you can. So we're going to move through those shoulder joints. You might find one side moves easier than the other. That's okay. Three. Two, one, shake it out. So we're going to bring the hands up again. We're going to turn one to the ceiling. So thumb comes around, thumb face and see, or palm face ceiling. You're going to turn your hand the other way, the palms face and ceiling the other direction. Okay, and then we're going to rotate again, opposite ways. So with this, one hand is going one rotation direction and the other one's going the opposite way. But they're both still rotating through that shoulder joint. Four, three, two, and one. Then shake it out. I'm going to bring one arm across the body, hooking in and just stretching that shoulder. We want to make sure we're not on the elbow joint, so either side of the elbow. Just pull that in towards you lightly. Inhale, exhale, try and move a little bit closer. Let it go, shake it. I'm going to bring one across to the opposite side. Again, with these, you might find one is tighter than the other. That's all right, that's normal. And we're just stretching across the back of that shoulder. If you feel like you can, inhale and exhale, bring it a little bit closer to you. Three, two, one, let it go. Okay, we're going to come into a slightly wide squat here. Just point your toes out. We're going to lean one leg out to the side and out to the opposite side. We're slowly coming down into that squat as we do that, keeping our upper body up tall. So we don't want to start to lean forward. So if you're starting to, as you come to a point, you're starting to just go like that, just stay where you are, side to side. We're focusing on open up the hips here. We're just moving side to side. And 
just go as low as you can. I'm going to slowly come back up. Three, two, one. Okay. We're going to come down to the mat and we're going to make sure we're lengthways on our mat. So what we want to do is we want to lean on, not on our knees, but on the outside of our quad muscles. So a little bit of muscle there that you can lean on. We want a straight line from our knee all the way back to our feet and we're just going to rock back and forward. So if you're leaning on your knee, this will be uncomfortable even on a mat, but if you are on the quad muscle, you should be fine. We're just going to rock back and forward, keeping our back nice and straight here. I'm just going as far as you can and coming back up each time. Breathing the whole time as well. So we're going to go four, three, two, and one. We're going to come over now into our box position from here. So what we want is a straight line from our hip to our knee and from our shoulder to our wrist. Ourselves nice and balanced. We're going to lift one leg out to the side and knee up as high as you can. So just out like this. We don't want to rotate with it, so we're just going as high, so we don't want to be going out and coming the whole way around. We want to stay square as far as we can and back. So just lift up and back, up and back. Again, just as high as you can without rotating. Aim to keep our core nice and square here. These are called fire hydrants. And if you think you know why they're called fire hydrants, you're probably right. Again, we are just bringing up as high as we can, slowly back down, engaging those glute muscles. Four, three, two, and one. We're going to go to the opposite side. So I'm just going to slip tight in the feet. Again, lift up as high as we can and lower. The aim here is to not rotate. We want to use the leg to bring up, keeping our core to keep ourselves balanced, keeping our core nice and tight, breathing through each one as well. Might find one side is harder than the other, won't go up as high, that's normal. But we're just going to keep going for four. Three, two, and one. Okay, down. Can put hip side to side if you want. Knee to now spine. A little bit of movement. We are going to roll our shoulders around now and roll them back. Get as much movement through this roll as we can. All the way around and all the way back. So big circles. Four, three, two. And one. And from there, what we're going to do is we're going to tuck the hips, inhale, push our back up towards the ceiling, back out, and come back down, sticking the head up. So imagine there's a string in the center of your back pulling you up, and then slowly lower down. So 
breathing for each one here. Exhale, and up. Inhale, lower. Four, three, two, um, one, all the way up, drop the head, and back down lower. Okay. We are going to stay in this position for a second, and you're going to step one foot back. That's our cut, staying on our toe, and we're going to push, push our heel as far back as we can. Just slowly lean into it, come back. Slowly lean into it and come back. I'm going to open up that calf muscle. You might feel a little stretch in the hamstrings, back leg, but mostly the calf, which is your lower leg. So pushing that foot down, come back up. From there, we're going to do a little circle around the on the toe, moving the ankle, circling the opposite direction, back again, and again. Now we'll push back slowly and controlled. One, two, and three. I'm going to come over onto the opposite side now. So again, extending that back leg back, pushing our heel towards the floor. And we're just pushing back onto it. Open up that calf muscle. Pushing back as far as we can. From there, we're going to bring it into a little circle around. And that's so as much as we can. And change direction. And get movement into that ankle as much as possible. Back the opposite way. And starting again, changing direction. And we'll push it back. Three, two, one. Okay. Let's sit that. If you need to stretch your wrist out a little bit, too, I'm just going to pull our hand up and just pull our fingers back. Just give them a break for a second and pull them down. Bring them back again. And then off the opposite side. Pull them back. Pull them down. Bring them back. And bring them down. Interlock your fingers to get, or not even interlock them, but put them side by side and use your hand to push the other fingers, the opposite fingers, as far as you can to one side, back to the opposite side. Just going to open up the hand muscles a little bit. They don't get stretched in this direction very often, so good to give them a little bit of movement. Three. Two, one, and shake them out. We're going to come down flat onto the mat as so a line face down. We're going to start with some back extensions. We're going to keep our feet planted into the mat. You can put your hands by your side, by your temples, or out in front of you, whichever way you want to do it. And we're just going to lift up as high as you can and slowly lower. So exhale, lift up, inhale, lower.
Green tree, so I'm just coming as high as you can and slowly lowering. Four, three, two, and one. From there, we're going to bring our hands out in front of us now. And we're going to go opposite leg and opposite hand. So one hand, one leg comes up, opposite comes up. So squeeze up and add up each side. Exhale, lift up and across. Breathe to each one. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. And bring it back up into that box position. Okay, what we're going to do now is we are going to start in that box position. We're going to do a little pigeon stretch. So, what we want to do is bring one knee up, rotate our toes as far as we can to the opposite leg or your opposite wrist. Don't worry if you can't go far, or even if you're just here with one foot forward. Let's bring it as much as we can, and then from there, we're going to sit back, sliding the back leg back. We're going to start on our palms of our hands. You feel that stretch all down the outside of the leg, the bent leg. If you're comfortable in that stretch, you can come down onto the forearms. And again, if you feel comfortable there, you can walk hands out further and bring it forward to the mat, but only if you feel able to do so. Okay, we're going to bring it back up onto forearms, come out and stretch. And then back up onto the palms and hands. Flip yourself back, lift up, and bring yourself back into your box position. From there, we're going to come back with the other foot, so you're going to slide the other knee up. Again, turn that toe as much as you can to the opposite side. And then walking that back leg back. Staying up on the palms first, settling into the stretch. If you can, come down onto your forearms then, once you get comfortable and stretch. And if you can walk your hands out further and pop your head forward to the mat, do. Okay, coming back up, we're going to start coming by coming back up onto those forearms first. Then we're up onto the palms and hands. And then we're going to tuck that back foot, lift up, and we're back into our box position. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come over into a cross leg position. Sitting up top. You're going to take one hand and bring it to the opposite knee. So inhale, sit up tall. Twist around and reach back, just as far as comfortable for you. And if you can, look over that shoulder behind you as well. Okay, 
and inhale, exhale, see if you can walk a little bit further. If you can't, don't worry, just stay where you are. Inhale, exhale, come back around to front. From there, we're going to take that opposite hand now and bring it across the opposite leg. And we're going to inhale, exhale, twist around. Just as far as comfortable for you. And inhale, see if you can go a little bit further. And inhale, exhale, come back around. I'm going to need another little arm stretch here. If you are struggling to get your arm up behind your head, don't worry. Otherwise, if you are struggling with this, I'm just going to do the stretch again. We're going to run one arm over oh, 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 the back of the head, pushing down just as low as we can. Feeling that stretch in the back of the arm. Breathing the whole time as well. We don't want to overstretch as well. We just want that first point of tension. We're just pushing down, keeping our head up as well. Inhale, exhale, let it go. And the opposite side. Yeah, we're going to push our head back. So if you're pulling your head, your arm too far forward, you won't be able to, too far down, you won't be able to lift your head up. So we want enough stretch so we can actually keep our head up as well. Let it go. Okay, we're going to come over onto our knees. So we want one leg forward, one leg back. We're going to squeeze our glute from behind and we're going to push yourself forward into a stretch just to where you get that first, as the first area of bind, first little bit of kickback. And we're just going to stay there. If you feel a little bit more comfortable, push a little bit further. Okay, we want to make sure we're still balanced and we're not leaning over ourselves while doing this. Just one foot forward, one foot back. And again, see if we can go a little bit further. From there, we're going to take a big inhale, exhale, sit back onto towards our bum, bring our hands down to the mat, and toe facing the ceiling. If you want to make it a little bit easier, bring your toe down. Go toe facing the ceiling if you can. Don't worry if there's a slight bend in your leg, that's okay. Just sit back as far as we can here. I feel stretch all in the back of the leg, that's what we're looking for. Three, two, one, bring it back. What we're going to do now is we're going to pivot our back leg around, walk this leg out, the front leg out to the side, just as far as it's comfortable. And we're just going to stay in that position. If you need to, you can prop your hands for a sport. You can stay up too. And as well, if you want to make it a little bit more of an intense stretch, you can turn your toe up towards the ceiling and open up the inside of that hip there. Okay, 
Deep breathing. Three, two, one. Turn it back, walk that foot in. And we're gonna go back to the start with the opposite leg now. So opposite foot comes forward. Foot we were, or the leg or hip we were just stretching, say back. And we're just gonna squeeze that glute and push ourselves forward into that first area where you feel a stretch. We're just gonna hold it there. If you can, inhale, exhale, push a little bit forward. If, more forward if you start to feel it to open up more. And inhale, exhale, go a little bit further. And again, if you can, go a little bit further. If you can't, don't worry, just stay where you are. From there, we're going to take an inhale and exhale. So back onto that back leg. Stretching the back of the leg. If you need to bend your knee, do. Make sure you're getting a nice stretch into the hamstring. What is comfortable for you? Again, if you need to make it a little bit easier on yourself, drop the toe. And uh, exhale, coming up. So I'm just going to have to switch where you guys can. Pivot that back leg around, walk. All right, this leg out. I'll tall again. You can turn that toe towards the ceiling if you want to intensify the stress for a little bit. And if you're comfortable where you are, that's fine. Stay where you are. If you need to support yourself, do as well. I'm stretched in on the inside of the hip here. Three, two, one. Pivot around. Bring it back in. We're on a stand up. We're going to bring our arms to shoulder height. I'm going to draw a little circle. Pass a little bit of shoulder work for. My small circles. Feel it move through the joint. I'm going to change the opposite way. And little circle is going the other way this time. I'm going to pull some up and down. I'm going to hold them there for ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Down, shake out. We're going to interlock those fingers behind our back now. Push your shoulder right together. Just lift up as high as we can. Open up that chest. Just as high as you can here. And inhale. Exhale, lift the heart. And if you can, lift the heart again. 
let it go. Shake it up. Interlock the fingers and push them as far apart as you can. Push your shoulder blades as far apart as you can. From there, front. And lift up overhead, pushing towards the ceiling as much as you can. Lean ourselves out to one side, stretching down the other side. If you can keep your hands up overhead, you can also stretch head down and stretch on this side, feel the stretch on your side. So just push it out as far as you can. Back to center. And over to the opposite side. Again, just as far as you can, feeling that stretch down the side. Back to centre, let it go, and you're done guys, well done.